This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Motion Design. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second. And my duration is 10 seconds longer. The first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it Noise, make sure to use the white color for it, and then hit OK. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC Starburst. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the scatter value to 700, and speed value to 5. This is the maximum speed we can use in this preset. Now change the size value to 20, to make the noise particles smaller. I'm not sure if you can see it on YouTube, but there are many tiny particles on the screen. Let's make the speed a little faster. Go to the first frame, and then add a keyframe on the phase. Then go to the last frame, and change the phase value to a higher number. I am using a value of 100. Ram preview this, and this is how it will look now. Not bad. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Thanks to Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community, that offers membership with meaning. With thousands of classes in design, motion graphics, video editing, illustrations, animation, and more. With so much to explore, real projects to create, Skillshare empowers you, to accomplish real growth. You can check out this animation for graphic designers class on Skillshare, to learn more about animating a logo. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable. Especially when compared to pricey in-person classes. So, click the link in the description, to get two free months of premium membership, and explore your creativity. Let's move to the next step. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Please note, I am using the intro font, you can download it from the link in the description. For this tutorial, I am going to use the red color. You are free to choose any color you want. Let's change the font size to 100. And now we are ready to add our text. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I am using this motion word. Eject from the typing box, and make sure to align your text into the center. Let's add the second text as well. Click once again on the screen, and enter your text here. Eject from the text tool, and then change its color to a bright gray, or white. Also, I am using the font size of 48 as well as, the leading, or the character spacing value to 200. Align it to the center as well, and now we are moving to the next step. Let's hide this design text for now, because we are going to use it later. Now create a new solid layer. I am calling it mask, and then hit OK. Now press S, to open scale, and click on this link icon so that we can change the scale value individually. Let's change the second scale value of it. My maths is very bad, so I am going to type a slash, 2, and then press enter. It will automatically change the value by 2. Now we need to align this layer to the top. So go to the align, and align it to the top. And this is how it will look. Now place this mask layer, right above the motion layer, and then we will use the track mat, for masking our text. 
In case your track mat tab is not available here, then press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is making a video on TikTok, then you should ignore it completely and right click on it, go to the columns and choose modes as well as switches because we are going to need them. Now change the track mat value to alpha mat and this is how your text will look now. Completely half. Let's select the mask as well as the motion layer and make a duplicate of it. Then select the top mask layer and align it to the bottom. Your text will be complete now. The text has been split into two parts, top and bottom. You can check it by turning any layer on and off. Cool. Let's select the mask and motion two layers, right click on it and choose to pre-compose. I am calling it text bottom and then hit OK. Then select the bottom layer and pre-compose them as well. I am calling it text top and then hit OK. Now we will add the animation on it. So go to the first second position, then select both text layers and open their position. Now add a keyframe on it. Then go to the one second forward. And for the bottom layer, I am going to change the Y value to 540 plus 30. And for the top layer, the value will be 540 minus 30. And now they both will be split in the same position. Cool. See, how can we use maths in After Effects? Now turn on the visibility of the design layer, and we will add an effect on it. But first, I am going to change the font size of it. Let's keep it 36, and this looks much better. Then go to the same keyframe position, as the bottom layers, then select the design layer, and go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the CC jaws. Apply it onto the layer, and search for another effect. It is called invert alpha. Place it right below the CC jaws, and your text layer will be completely invisible. Let's minimize these presets, because we don't need to work on them actually. Now we will use the completion value, to add the reveal effect on it. But first, let's change the height value to 0%, and now you can see this is working fine. Let's change the completion value to 0%, and then add a keyframe on it. Then go to the last keyframe position of bottom layers, and change the value to a higher number, so that the text can be visible. Of course, you can keep the value of 100%. See, how easy is that? Now press U, to reveal all keyframes, then select them all, and press F9, to easy ease them. Now open graph editor, and in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select the end keyframes, and if required, you can always zoom into your timeline, by pressing the plus key on your keyboard. Now change the curve to something like this, switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Make sure to align the design text into the center as well. We just created the animation in, let's make the animation out. We will copy paste these keyframes, and then make them reverse. But we cannot select all keyframes together, and copy paste them. So select the first layer keyframes, and copy them. Now go to around 2 seconds forward, and paste it right here. The animation is similar, so make sure to right click on the selected keyframes, then go to the keyframe assistant, and down here in the bottom, you will have an option to invert the keyframe. Let's select the bottom layer keyframes as well, and paste them. Make sure to paste the keyframes at the same position, as we did for the previous layer. Do the same for the third layer as well, and then select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select time reverse keyframe. And the animation will be reversed. It was easy. Now select the end keyframes, then open graph editor, 
here zoom in a little and change the curve to something like this switch back to the main timeline and this is how it will look now now minimize all layers to get some room let's turn on the motion blur for all layers by clicking here and then ramp preview it cool this looks good to me now we will create the lines animation make sure to unselect any selected layer then go to the tools and select the pen tool please note my fill is set to none and my stroke is set to a solid color the color I am going to use is the same as the text color. Also, I'm using a stroke value of 5 pixels. Now create a straight line while holding the shift key on your keyboard. The length will be the same as I have. Let's rename this layer as the line red. Now open this layer, and then content. Let's zoom in a little, so we can focus more clearly. Open shape, and then stroke. Here change the cap to the round cap, and it will make the stroke edges round. Now scroll to the top, then click on the add, and choose trim paths. We will use it to add the line animation. Make sure you are at the first frame, then open trim paths, and add a keyframe on the end. Also, change the end value to 0%. Now go to the 7 frames forward, and change the end value to 100%. As well as, add a keyframe on the start. Then go to the next 7 frames forward, and then change the start value to 100. And this is how the line will look now. Cool. Now select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. In case you want to make the animation faster or slower, then select all keyframes, press and hold the Alt, or Option key on your keyboard, and drag the keyframes to the left to make it faster. Now select the line red layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it line white. Then change the stroke color to the white, or bright gray. Use the arrow keys, to place it around this position, and then open scale, and change the scale value to 60%. I am using the arrow keys for changing the position of it. Right now, the animation of both layers looks similar. So select the bottom layer, and place it to the right a little, so that the animation timing will be a little different. Cool. Now select both lines layer, and pre-compose them. Let's call it line animation, and then hit OK. Let's fit it 100%. Now I am going to find a position, where you can place it. I think this section will look better. Let's place the starting position of this layer right here. Also, I am placing the shape, at the top left corner of the text. Add some rotation on it, so that it will become vertical. I am using a rotation value of 90 degrees. Place it right here, and this is how it looks now. Now make another duplicate of it, and then right click on this layer, go to the transform, and choose flip vertical. Place it right here. And also change its rotation value to negative 90 degrees. And then place it right here. It can take a little longer, for the placement, but you can do it very easily. Cool. Let's add this line animation at the end as well. So go to the point, and then make a duplicate of the line animation. I am changing the rotation value to zero. I think it should be placed right here.
place it right into the center of the text layer, and then adjust the timing of it. Now make another duplicate of it, then right click on it, go to the transform, and choose flip horizontal. Align it with the text, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, and peace.